Hello, welcome, Master Maxify here, and I'm here with Seb as well, who's yeah. going to be holding the cameras for a better view uh, when I make the tutorial for this thingy. As I said, I worked out how to solve this all on my own. Okay, uh, let's get on with this. There's just one really long algorithm which I might need to use. Uh, the document that... Uh, no, no, no. I might use the do a document. Okay. Unscramble it up. So I might stop in the middle of the algorithm because I don't know what I uh, can't remember the algorithm. So yeah, you can actually scramble it really badly. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah, so you can call that scramble. Our first step is to do the top layer. Uh, what you want to do is, at first you should be able to just connect uh, two pieces so that they join up like that, with the colours. Because that's just really basic stuff. And also see my 2x2 uh, two two tutorial before you, you try to solve this, because without seeing my 2x2 two two tutorial this is going to be tricky. And then you want to get into the cell shape. L shape? L. Oh, L shape. Yeah. And then you've got another L shape down there. What you'll do is uh, make it so that this piece you need to put in is under where it is, under where it needs to go, and put it in the bottom right corner. And you flip your cube around and make this in your bottom right corner, and you do... Uh, and also the notation of this cube is... Uh, I just do R whenever you do this. You can also call it L. Uh, this is U, this is D, this is F, this is B. What you want to do is R, U, R, U2, R, I. And yeah, you've done your first layer. Okay. <coughs> I'm really sorry for that. Anyway, friends. Anyways, so you have your first layer done, and your next goal is to do the top layer. No matter what, you should always have two pieces connected. It's just not possible to not have to have two pieces connected. And then you use a really long algorithm for this. You want to get the, the two solved pieces to your left. And you flip the cube upside down. And you do. I'm going to have to look at an algorithm sheet, I think. No, I'll try uh, R, D, R, U, R, D, I, R, uh, if I'm right then it's D, R, Uh, um, F and yeah that's it I don't go I've done the algorithm and now you've done all the top and bottom la uh, uh, layer now the last goal is the middle layer 
you, you might, there's three different positions you might be now, right now. When you need to swap two pieces around, like I am in right now. When the cube is just messed up, and one piece is just correct, like this. And, uh, also make sure that, uh, there's also another position where that these two, like, you have to swap these two pairs. But if you have just say you need to swap two pieces around, make them be on your right, like this, and you do R, M, which is just push in the middle, and then R, M, R, M, R, M. And now I've gone into position of the messed up cube. Then you do. Yeah, I was, let me think. Ah. Uh, no, it's not that. I need an algorithm shit. Like this. basically do the same algorithm which is in any position you do R M R M R M R M and now you need to swap two pairs around you just you just make it so that uh you're facing one of the uh you're so you're facing one of the sides which has one one uh correct piece joining up to make the line and one wrong. And you do R M M R. Next you need to swap two pieces and you do R oh and make sure they're on the on the right and they on the left you've got the soft piece. Face. Okay, it's R U two, R U two, R U two. You have congratulations. You have now solved your two by two by three Rubik's Tower cube or cube void. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope this helps you solve the Slim Tower, also known as the two by two by three Rubik's cube. Max out.